Good morning everyone. So today we are going to be doing a Wiggles guitar and this is the type of Wiggles guitar that the neck actually moves. So get ready to wiggle. I'm going to show you that. So something kind of interesting about these, I've successfully bent one and the neck still moved. And then the other one though, it actually just quit moving. So oddly, the tempo tone control seems to be linked to that somehow, or maybe the motor's just not taking the amperage that the short circuit creates on that board. I don't know, but we're gonna obviously try to keep the movement in this one but uh, main goal is obviously to circumvent it, so that is what we're gonna do. And just like every other time, let's go ahead and let's open it up. You're here. The term here implies that which is never apart from the sun. You know, right here, have been or set beat. Here, is not a fixed point. Somehow. On page. Getting the bolt out on this was probably one of the most difficult ones that I've actually done. The bolts themselves would just not come out and I ended up actually having to drill one out. So that's, that's great. That's off to a fun start. But now that we're going to be finding the bends, if I remember correctly, the reason the other one stopped working was just because I should say the first one, the second one, I added a lot of resistors on the positive tempo tone control, so I think that's what saved it. So we're going to be doing the same thing. I am going to still find this in the same way that I always find everything. Um, I'm going to be using my finger just to find the resistance, and then once we get that, we're not going to bare wire this. We're actually just going to go very, very slow and then take the resistance down to the point where we actually need it to be. And in that way, we should be saving the circuit as much as possible. And this is kind of a weird angle to be hitting this board, so we'll, we'll see what happens here. I may have to pull the board off. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pull the board off. I think it's going to make it a lot easier.
see if we could actually turn this. Oh, it doesn't look like it. Maybe if we pull this button out, we can. So it's around there. So we're just gonna try to find that resistor. And I'm betting it's this 10K resistor right here, which would make our points these two. So it's not that one, it must be the 100. So it's actually closer to the integrated circuit on this. So it's one of these three right here. Get a screwdriver so you can better see it. The lighting's not the greatest, but it's one of these three that's actually making the sound, I do believe, or possibly this one. I don't know, but I'm gonna get some alligator clips so we can more closely identify it. Actually, come to think of it, I'm gonna go ahead and ground a wire and then we'll just use the ground wire to actually find the median. And then if we find the median, we'll find the other side of the resistor. So that's that would be real easy. So let's go ahead and do that. As you can see, this one is actually making it go up too. So that's not what I remember happening, but playing around with the board, uh, let's go ahead and find something that makes it go lower pitch and we will reroute our ground to that. pretty good right there. So this is some other point coming out of the integrated circuit on the side here. 
So let's go ahead and tag into that with our ground wire. It is just right outside the integrated circuit. sounds phenomenal so I like that all right I'm gonna go ahead and wrap these up because that's our three points right there then we will need a breakout for our switch but these are the three points we ended up tagging onto with this hopefully you can see it lighting is not the best. But that's our three. So we're gonna go ahead and add the switch to it and add the potentiometer.
Now the tempo tone control is installed, but essentially what happened was uh, the very low portion of the tempo tone control does not mix well with the top. So we have two options we could do here. We could actually run them separately where they have to be manually turned on on both the upper portion and the lower portion, which I believe is what I did last time. This time I'm gonna be going a bit of a different route. I'm actually gonna be installing this push button right here that will lower the tone and it will take it to a unstable point, but the actual tempo tone control itself will keep the instrument completely stable. So this will help with the longevity of the instrument simply by allowing us to only use this when really, really needed or when we really want to get those crazy tones or, you know, risky crashes going. So I'm using this resistor. This is pretty much nothing, but it's better to have some resistance on something than to have no resistance whatsoever. So we're going to add this. We get some crazy tones and crazy effects coming off of this. And then we're going to run it to the points of the tempo tone control. Thank you. 
The next thing we're gonna be adding is the pro sound. So we've got all this installed. Really all we're missing is a pro sound at this point. And then I'm gonna be adding a master on and off switch just in case any crashes happen. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and tag into the speaker. Speaker is very easy. They actually have it labeled on here. So I'm just gonna tag right onto these two points and we'll run it out from there and we'll see if it supports LEDs. Now everything is installed, so we are going to be putting it back together and then drilling out the holes.